outside of Fort Stock in Texas. We're about to see the infamous dinosaur footprints. Sedimentary rocks here. I'm here with my nephew who wants to remain off camera. supposed to be in here. Let's go on the other side. Some more Cretaceous sedimentary rock right around here. Back when this area was a lot wetter. This was probably a riverbed at one point. Or a creek bed. Oh, those cactus berries are really good. Brandon, does that door open? Okay, I think I see one right here. right in the center. Must have gotten filled in over time. It's kind of hard to see due to erosion but there's a large three-toed footprint right here. I think they've eroded over time and it seems to have gotten filled in. Those recessed areas with all the cracks that's of course that's modern deposit but the prints are under there. But right there is a pretty clear one, right where the shadows form that X. X marks the spot. Right there, three toes. One, here's my pinky. One, two, there's the middle toe. Beautiful. And I was told that if you come around to the front that these things that look like tire tracks are actually since that's prehistoric rock these are actually the where the dinosaur dragged its tail right along here I was told by someone who took a geology course and they were brought out here there's the dinosaur tail drag right there Boom. And if I remember correctly, since I haven't heard this since I was a little kid, but it was a it was an herbivorous dinosaur. It was bipedal, like me. And here I am. A while ago, I was on that side, looking at this track. If you go down, there's another one going the opposite direction. See, this one is going from right to left. This one was going from left to right. And if you come around, that's creosote. In Spanish, we call it guame. See the leaves there? Make a really good tea out of that. It's supposed to be good for you. But if you drink it every day, you're supposed to take six months off. Let your liver recuperate. And see, that's the track. It continues on. It's another track. I suspect that the tracks would have continued. You have weathering and erosion going on there. 
and then it probably goes underneath this plant and then it probably turned around and see once again there's the hope this is coming out but there's the tail drag and then I suspect those are footprints like it maybe I don't know maybe another one followed it that could be a track it's hard to say right there you could even see where the mud when this was mud to see how it kind of lifted up a little bit it just lifted up but it's so smooth here you wouldn't know it was a tail drag unless somebody told me which somebody told me see those berries right there those are not right not good to eat oh, once again people leaving pollution here I think I'm gonna take that and dispose of it properly via recycling if I don't trip and I think that's just regular erosion right here but you can see where it used to be mud where the mud flowed all along the ground and it just went all the way up and up and up and up there's no telling which way the river went just because it's lifted up over there doesn't necessarily mean it was running this way tectonic plate movements and such it's probably changed quite a bit over millions of years beautiful West Texas this area was once underwater 400 million years ago then during the Mesozoic area up until the Cretaceous period about 65 million years ago this area was part and part underwater part swampland still most of the earth was covered in ocean there's my nephew he doesn't want to be on camera now, since we're near Fort Stockton occasionally you'll find some ammonites strewn along the ground I know people who have found really big ones and there's a cool little barrel cactus right here hello little barrel cactus these berries are ready to eat but I got a lot of needles on my finger trying to dissect one it was worth it though I ate a couple they were really good but like I said you need a lighter like those little glow kid needles burn them off maybe I'll do a tutorial later and there's that creosote in Spanish guame um, around here it's often called chaparral or chaparral and makes a really good tea you gotta sweeten it a little bit I don't I just drink it like that you boil it strain it and drink it I recommend making it kind of not so dark at first I make it dark when my stomach's used to it those are ready to eat I've seen a lot of road runners but I can't seem to catch one on camera broken bottle And those are the Cretaceous dinosaur tracks near Fort Stockton, Texas. Check out these bottles I found. People, please don't leave your trash lane around here. Check that out. That has to be a toe right here. See, that's the dinosaur tail. Sorry, I'm coming back to record this, but that's where it dragged its tail. We're outside the cage. There's the cage right there. And then that's a toe. That's got to be another toe right here. I feel like Robert Muldoon right now. And then that's probably another toe, or it's probably under there somehow. I don't know. That's a toe. You can even see where the mud lifted up right here. There's a toe print, another toe print. And then the tail drag goes off into infinity right there where it's broken off. It's eroded over millions of years. Wow. Bring the dinosaurs back. I uh, I probably won't even post this part, but we're cleaning up a lot of the sediment 
and reveal it. Hopefully. Hopefully. A larger print that's buried under here. I can see it coming out. It's amazing. Pull that top, pull that top of the rubber part off. Pull that forward. No, pull this. Wait. Here. Take this. Oh, it's already pulled forward. I'll go ahead and take this stuff. Okay, I would have never known that was there. Due to all this heavy rain we've been having, it's been covered up by sediment. There's a gentleman here. I'm not going to get his face. I'm going to get his feet. But he's the one that told me that there was one over here. I just got stabbed by a cactus. I that hurt. I can I can see it. Yeah, it's sort of coming. It's coming this way, isn't it? Yep. Okay. That is cool. I would have never known that was there. See, the rain buried all that. Large three to the footprint that I didn't know was buried under there. It's hard to see without dropping water onto it. You yeah. Mmm. I have some on my back, but it's hard to. That's it. Well, thanks for showing me that. That's cool. I didn't know that was buried under there. That's incredible. All right. Large three toed dinosaur print. We'll go to Sonic after this. Prehistoric Sonic. Oh, it's advertising. Large three toed track. That's it. Hope you enjoyed.